Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will be taking another look at the thorny subject of gender representation in the STEM fields. Now, this video is based almost entirely on an article by William Collins. In the article, he took a rather interesting approach to the subject. And while it cannot be described as scientific, I thought it was an interesting approach to take and his observations were well made. It certainly illuminates the topic very well. The original article will be listed in the information box below as well as a link to his website. I am grateful to Mr Collins for his permission to use his work in the production of this video. As usual though, any errors and omissions are mine and mine alone. Having said all that, let's begin. The 2016 1st of October edition of New Scientist included various job adverts or adverts for New Scientist itself. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the adverts which contain an image of a person or of people. All adverts that contain images of people will be reviewed, none will be excluded. So let's have a look at gender representation in these adverts. The first advert is for New Scientist itself. Find the smartest workers. Now this is advertising newscientistjobs.com service. The advert itself represents two young females in an office environment. The next advert of interest relates to a school, St Mary's School, Cambridge. In this advert we have three young females intensely looking through their magnifying glasses at something of interest. The next advertisement that we're interested in relates to edxl this is the examination board in the united kingdom enhance your teaching career today in this advert we see a dinosaur display and two young females in the background the next advert relates to astrazeneca where diversity meets science well we haven't seen much diversity thus far but this advertisement represents a female model the next advert that we're interested in is for New Scientist itself, Know the Facts. This represents a ethnic female. This advertisement relates to teacher training bursaries. And we have two young pupils, females, and a male teacher. Finally, we have the Department of Education advert, which has been run almost every week for many months. And this advertisement represents four female pupils and a female teacher. So those are all the adverts that contained images of people. If you weren't keeping score, there were seven advertisements. Within those seven advertisements, 16 of the people were female and one was male. That makes male representation in the advertisements 6.25%. This obvious focus on girls to the exclusion of boys is often justified by referring to the underrepresentation of girls in STEM subjects. But the 2015 higher education entrance data shows that women outnumber men in STEM by 8%. In other areas of study, women outnumber men by a far greater percentage. Women now gaining 35% more degrees per annum than men. So what exactly is the excuse for this flagrant gender bias of these new scientists' adverts? Well, there isn't one. In the UK universities now, there are four and a half times as many women studying psychology as men. In preclinical veterinary medicine, women outnumber men four to one. In law, there are now twice as many female students as male students. In languages and cultural studies, there are approaching three times as many women as men. In teaching and education, there are nearly six times as many women as men. The most extreme case is nursing, where there are nearly ten times as many women as men. But even excluding nursing, there are twice as many women as men studying medical and dental sciences. Women even outnumber men in agriculture. 
1.4 women to every single man. So I leave you, or rather those responsible for placing these ads, with the following thought, taken again from the same edition of New Scientist. We end our adventure at this point. I hope you found something of interest in this video. If you would like to support my channel, I now have a Patreon page. If you're unable to support my work through Patreon, then you can share, like or comment. It's all good. Thank you for watching.